Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. If you enjoy our show, don't forget to help us out by subscribing to this podcast, sharing it with a friend, and providing us with a review on iTunes. Check out the show notes below for the link. Thanks, and enjoy the show. As you might have seen in the news, the Big Four are being pulled into a scandal in the UK involving a public company, and that public company is Carillion PLC. Carillion was the second largest construction company in the UK before they were taken out of the FTSE 250. Carillion had around 40,000 employees, and about 20,000 of those employees resided in the UK. And on January 15, 2018, Carillion announced that they would be going into liquidation, which is a pretty drastic measure in the UK. And Carillion also had about 30,000 pensioners relying on them for a pension, and Carillion also had about 30,000 suppliers, so there will be a lot of folks that are impacted by this insolvency measure. Now, how did the big four factor into all of this? Well, first off, KPMG was the auditor of Carillion since 1999. So, of course, it's kind of weird that KPMG noted no deficiencies and raised no red flags when the company issued a profit warning last year, and now the company is going under. So the British regulator, the Financial Reporting Council, also known as the FRC, which is similar to the PCOB in America, will be investigating KPMG's audits of Carillion for the past few years. This isn't the only bad news, though, because apparently KPMG has been losing a ton of public sector work in the past few years because of their scandals around the world. As you might recall, KPMG has had some difficulties in South Africa, and they were also fined over their audit of Rolls-Royce, which was also investigated by the FRC. So KPMG comes out of all of this looking extremely terrible. And KPMG especially looks terrible in Europe because of these scandals. And this is not good because there's mandatory audit rotations in Europe. So when KPMG's audits come up for being considered for a rotation, the larger companies around the world will likely choose to rotate away from KPMG to avoid getting a bad reputation from being associated with KPMG. But this story isn't just bad for KPMG. Because more news came out today that all the big four firms were feasting on the carcass of Carillion, if you will. As more information comes out of the liquidation of Carillion, it's become apparent that all the big four have been earning hefty fees. The big four have earned £71.6 million from Carillion since 2008. £20.2 million was earned by KPMG for their audit of Carillion. £12 million was earned by Deloitte for consulting and $18.3 million was earned by Ernst & Young. But the most profitable big four on Carillion was PwC. They earned £21.1 million. Now, how did they earn all that money? PwC advised on all three sides of Carillion. They advised the company itself, they advised the company's pension funds, and they also advised on the government contract side of the engagements. And now PwC has been appointed to help with the liquidation of Carillion. So they are set to earn even more money. And unfortunately, people aren't turning a blind eye to all these fees. They are looking into how the big four can earn all this money on a big company like this without spotting any accounting irregularities, when there obviously were accounting irregularities here. This really just goes to show that the big four don't care whether they do a good job or not, because they make money from a company whether or not they get the financials right. If a company goes bust, The big four could care less because they will reside over the liquidation. If the big four get fired from an engagement, they don't care because some other accounting firm will mess up somewhere else and then they will get a new project on that company. The big four are getting wrapped up in more and more scandals and they seem to care less and the impacts on them don't seem to be bothering them at all. They are getting banned from auditing in countries and they're losing business and they still don't care. And there has been some talk in the UK of mandating more competitiveness into the accounting system because the big four are obviously not very competitive. And what do I mean by competitive? Well, they're obviously not holding themselves to a high standard. The companies are paying them millions of dollars and they're missing all kinds of mistakes. So even though they're making millions of dollars, they have nobody to compete with to improve their work. They don't hold each other to a high standard because there are only four of them. I think they should be broken up all over the world because the quality of their work and their audits is decreasing significantly. And in cases like Carillion, you have people that are drawing a pension that might not get the pension. 
that might lose out on money. You have people that work at suppliers of Carillion that might be out of the job and those companies might be affected and they might go under as well. All four accounting firms were involved in Carillion somehow and not one of them spotted a thing, yet they all call themselves professional accountants. What professional accountant doesn't notice a billion dollar mistake? I'll tell you what kind of accountant. An accountant that is blinded by the greed of a multi-million dollar contract and doesn't have any competition. Wanted to take a quick break today to tell you about our Big Four interview course. Did you know that only 4% of candidates get into the Big Four? That's right, only 4%. Deloitte gets about 500,000 applications a year and only 4% of those candidates get in. Well, we wanna help you get a job at the Big Four. We wanna help you be part of that 4% by preparing you for your Big Four interview and we think we can do this with our Big Four interview course. Our Big Four interview course provides you with all the important things that you need to do to prep for your Big Four interview. This includes research on all the Big Four that's prepared for you and also guidance on how to conduct more specific research on the firm and practice you'll be interviewing with. We also walk you through interview questions and how to answer those interview questions the way the Big Four professionals will want them to be answered, among other valuable insights into the Big Four. And if that isn't enough, we offer a PDF of 100 additional Big Four interview questions and a Big Four resume template. You've invested in your accounting education and you invest in your accounting exam, whether that's a CPA exam or another course. So why not invest in a Big Four interview course to help you nail the Big Four interview? Check out the link to the Big Four interview course in the show notes to learn more. We appreciate your help in growing this podcast so we can continue to bring you the best Big Four content possible. You could help us out by providing a review on iTunes, sending us an email with your comments, and don't forget to share with your friends. There's a link below in the show notes. That's our show for today. Thanks for listening and have a great day.